Hey guys, welcome to Ham Radio with K0PIR and my YouTube channel. I just picked up an Elecraft K3S at an auction, and uh, this radio started life as a K3, but in 2018 it was upgraded to a K3S. And I have a little bit of information on that on my website, www.k0pir.us. I've got a post on there that goes through the upgrades that were made to this Elecraft K3 to make it a K3S. And uh, Elecraft has uh, wonderful receivers, just absolutely fantastic receivers. Um, they always rank uh, really high uh, on the Sherwood reports, the uh, Sherwood uh, recordings or uh, investigations, whatever you want to call it. Um, they always rank really high, and the K3S is always ranked high. Now, I, I've always wondered if uh, the ICOM 7300 would hold up to a K3S, and uh, how how much difference is there? Is there that much difference? The K3, uh, if you if you buy some filters with it and add a sub receiver, will run uh, three to four thousand dollars. Now, the the ICOM 7300, you know, that's uh, sub one thousand dollars right now and i think it's the best buy for the money uh without a doubt but how good is the receiver compared to the k3s well in this video i'm going to show you uh what i did i uh i'm using the same antenna it's an inverted v and i've got a coax switch between the radios so the radios will be using the same antenna and I've uh, fixed the radios so they're uh, the same bandwidth. Uh, neither one has the uh, noise reduction or noise blanker on. However, I do uh, add those in a couple of times so you can see what they sound like. And uh, I think on that point, the 7300 is superior to the Elecraft K3S. When you add uh, a little uh, noise reduction in on the K3S, you can really tell that mechanical sound is in there. And on the 7300, not so much. So uh, I did enjoy listening to the 7300 maybe just a little bit more than I did the K3S. Now, I'm still, uh, still playing around with it, and I've got an ICOM 7610 uh, back in the shack. So I'm going to compare the Elecraft K3S to the ICOM 7610 in another video, and we'll see uh, how much difference there is. I I, I want to explore the uh, CW capability on the K3S compared to the 7610 because the filtering in uh, both of those radios is, is excellent for uh, for CW. And uh, I want to see if, if there's much of a difference between uh, those two radios uh, while listening to CW or transmitting CW. So, uh, yeah, this, uh, this little video, I'll switch back and forth between the Elecraft and the ICOM. And uh, judge for yourself, I think the 7300 really holds its own in there. And I can say uh, after a few days of going back and forth uh, between them, uh, I think I like the 7300 better. Um, I, I, I'll, I may be a little bit prejudiced, but uh, that that was my take on it. Uh, let me know what your comments are. Uh, post your comments below. Any questions? Is there anything I could have done differently or better uh, for the? So listen closely, and when you're finished, please comment below.
36 elements on 10. I didn't want a tri-bander with 10 meters on it, just a waste of uh, alumina. So when I was talking to the guys at 12, uh, 412, I didn't have them in 10 except a piece of tuned wire on 17. And so they recommended um, this one. And uh, I ordered one back in 1990, and I liked it so much that uh, I ordered, I asked them, I said, well, can I get another one to stack it on the tower? And I said, at 55 feet, I wanted to put a TIG rotator on and, and put the, um, uh, the other beam at 55 feet. Can you find spaces for me so the TIG rotator would go around the tower? They said, absolutely. And I like that so much. This is the one I kept. It has a 10-foot longer boom than the original one, making it uh, very broad-banded. But it does have a 44-foot boom, one inch uh, larger diameter boom. Um, it weighs about 80 pounds more, so this one weighs about 280 pounds with a 44-foot boom. Uh, it's got four full-size elements, wide space on 20 meters, uh, with a separate driver. Uh, 15 meters and 17 meters have a separate uh, driver for it. And so um, I used to have uh, that one and the shorter one faced together. And uh, a little bit. This is Kilowatt Bravo 6 Tango off of Zulu looking for your check in. YL System, second hour moonbeam coming up. Okay, Whiskey Julia 9 Echo. Mike, come on in. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Also, tell your friends. And I hope you get something out of this video. 73 and good DX.